Hey, once again, ladies and gentlemen, if uh, <clears throat> if we lose connection, remember that uh, check back in 10 minutes or five to 10 minutes and check to see if uh, I'm back online, okay? Because just in case the lights go off and, and some happens, you know, then, you know, the education part of it is going to be broken off, okay? So here's what we're going to do now. Now we're going to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and bring that over here like this. And I want you to go ahead and I want you to go to your math page, okay? Go to your math page. And we're going to put in here construct. So I want you to copy. And we did all these things for math. And it should have been on the other one. I I guess what I'm going to do is this. What I'm going to do is probably mix these two together right here and call it math. Because we're having two hours of math. And I don't know where I'm going to put uh, history. So I'm thinking that I'm going to put history somewhere in here. So history, it's probably going to go in. It's probably going to be going in here. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to put uh, include cognitive thinking in in uh and math all in one because I got math two hours of math right here and a lot of it is reading and somehow we gotta include in here somewhere reading and spelling yeah let me work on that I got to go ahead and work on that and let y'all know. Okay, so for now, let's go ahead and add another layer of math. Because math and video gaming, it's... Let's go ahead and research that real quick, okay? All right, so... Uh, does the production of video games include math in fact it is almost impossible to make any game without using math even pac-man uses some math although it is far simpler the number of calculations involved in modern game are absolutely staggering and developers often have to try to use clever ways to avoid perform performing Totally overwhelming numbers of them. Okay. So, yes, the use of mathematics in computer games. Okay. Once again, we're going back. Wow, look at all this information. We're going to have to go ahead and put that in there. Okay. The use of mathematics in computer games. Okay, let's go ahead and go to your website where you have your math. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. And that's going to be our portion of reading. Okay. We're going to do a little more reading later. So we're going to go ahead and come up here. And go to your website. And we've already done something here. We're already there, right? We can actually input the, input the link right here. Input that link right there. So copy one of these buttons. Command C. And then do command V and bring it over here. And let's go ahead and call it math. I mean, gaming and mathematics. Gaming and math. Mathematics. Okay. And you don't have the link. I'm going to give it to you right now. All right. Let me see. Where's that article? This article right here. Okay. Okay. I think I, uh, I copied it already, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put it right there and then uh, and then I'll give it to you. I didn't do it. Let me do it again. 
Any switches? Command C. Come up here. Put it in there. Command D. And then we put that in there. Okay, while we're there, I also want to give you the uh, the construct link. Okay, so I want you to copy the button again. Copy the button again. And then I want you to go ahead and do command B, command B. And we're going to put it over here and just call it construct. Double click on it. And let's go ahead and make it red. Okay, how do we make it red? How do we make it red right there? Is that layout? Okay, that's going to be the link. So let's just type in here. Uh, construct three. Okay. And then let me put the link in there. Let me go ahead and make it. Uh, let's go ahead and color it. Is it this one? No, this one. Animations, no. Design. Design. Mm -hmm. Design, there you go. And let's just make it a little red. Customize it right there. And I would say, where's the color? Hmm, I want to change it to something reddish, okay. Something that just stands out. It's that one right there, okay. And all right, so it's right there. And let me put the link up here. So mine is going to be right here. My construct, I have it there. I'm gonna click on this. And then we come back up here. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to have two buttons right here, okay? We created that one, and we created that one. And they don't have any link for you right now, okay? All I want you to do is create a button, and basically just copy and paste it. And then you double click on it, and you put the first one that we put in there, what do we put? Gaming and mathematics. That's for our reading assignment. And then this one is gonna be just construct three, okay? And while you're doing that, I'm going to publish mine so that way you can go get the links. Okay, so let me give you about, we can actually work it, work on it together. And the, the first one that you put right here, double click on it and then go to the link. Go to the link and then there's nothing there for you, right? So now you can actually come over to, to the My Beloved Students section Go to my beloved student section right here. And you're going to go um, to the sample student. And we're going to go to homeschool, homeschool. And if you had this open, I mean, math. And notice there's construct. This is this one. Click on that one. Copy. Copy that. Okay, copy that. You select it, you press Command C, and then you come back over here and you paste it right there and you click on Done. Okay? All right, let me give you about 10 seconds to do that. Once you do that, then you double click on this one, go to the link. And make sure you go to web address right there. Go to web address. And then you go back to the website. And this time you're going to click on this. And then you're going to select that and copy it. I right, select that, command C. 
Then you come over to here and you paste it right there. And then you click on done. Go ahead and do that real quick. All right. All right, so once you have that there, I put that article to justify why you are working with video games because there's a lot of math involved, okay? So you're going to be making video games and doing your math at the same time, okay? All right, let's go ahead and click on this and let me publish. Once again, you publish also. Now, here's where I want you to go. Let's go and read a little bit of this real quick, okay? Let's go and read a little bit of this. Let's see what it says right here, okay? Introduction right here, okay? Introduction. It says this. Let me put this out the way. Once again, reading part of homeschooling. The purpose of this article is to have a look and how mathematics is used in computer games. The article will refer to some examples of popular computer games, which you may have played. Generally, we will be, we will be talking about 3D games, but the same ideas are used for 2D games occasionally as well. There are three aspects of games which I'll explore, which will explore. Geometry, the shapes that make up the world you move around and all the characters within it. Pathfinding, the basis for finding routes around the game world. And physics, making the world behave in a way which is believable. There are some exercises which you can do if you want and you're going to have to in this homeschool because that's for your grade. Throughout this article, the answers are at the end of the article. But do have but do have a go at solving them on your own first, okay? And that's all I want to read today because the rest of it you're going to do it on your own. Okay? The rest of it I want you to read a little bit more and then you put it on your on your daily work. And you document it on your website, and then that's the way you get your grade, okay? All right, so now, what I want you to do next is this. I want you to go back to your website. Okay, you're back at the website, right? And you click on your construct. Okay, click on the construct right there. And then you should see the same thing that I have, right? You should say the same thing that I have. What I want you to do is I want you to go to beginners, beginners guide right here. Click on beginners guide. And I want you to start working on this game right here. Okay. You're going to read and do, read and do, read and do. And if we don't finish, you're going to take care of it by, by yourself. Okay. Now let me, let's go back all the way to finish up so that you, that way you know what you're going to go ahead and create. Okay. And then I want you to scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. And the game right here that you're going to create is this one. Okay. I want you to click on this. Click on that. And the game comes up. Now, of course, we're going to show you how to go ahead and put it in, 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 in operation. So you're going to click on this one right here. And then double click on this. And notice that you're going to assign it where the guy moves around, okay? You put some monst monsters in there. Can this guy move around? Can this guy move around? Okay, this one can use the arrow keys, okay? And, of course, so you have to learn how to play this game, right? Space bar, all right? You move around, making sure you can you get away from the monsters, and they still get you. The space bar is to restart, and to shoot, you're going to just. I think it takes three shots. It takes three shots to take care of them, 
and then of course. So that's what we're gonna create. So let's begin, all right? So we're gonna close that up, close that up, and come over to here. And we are where? Okay, so now we go back to the beginning right here. And let's read a little bit. Okay, let me make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, this tutorial is recommended by the construct team. This means it can it contains useful, high quality information that will help you grow as a game developer. Okay. Thanks for choosing Construct 3. Let's get started making your first game. We'll be making the Ghost Shooter demo game. You'll learn everything you need to know to make a simple game, from layers to the event system. So when you start with this, let me tell you how your cognitive skills, mind, how your cognitive mind should work. Okay, so you're looking at this and you're saying, okay, man, I don't know what layers are. It's okay. You're not supposed to know. I don't know what the event system is. It's okay because they're going to teach you that in here. And, of course, if they teach you everything and you still don't get it, you go back and do it again and do it again and do it again until you figure it out. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and continue with this. This guy will make you a top-down shooter style game. Want to first with a platform game instead? Want to start with a platform game instead? Yeah, sure. Try the other beginner's tutorial, how to make a platformer game. Um, click here to open the finished game. Okay, I think that's what we did. Uh, sure, let me see. Yeah, that's what we did, right? Okay, so we already did that. And what is this, the menu? What is this? Oh, that's just a, just an image there. All right, so let's continue. So once it loads, click on the preview button, shown circle in the red to run it and try it out. Okay, so you see what they were trying to tell you? If I weren't here with you, this is what you would have done. Okay, where do I go? Okay, I click on this. And now, what do I do? I don't know what to do. What, what do I do? Okay, so it tells me that I've got to look for a word menu and then this. So then you're going to come back over here and you're going to look. Okay, where's it at? Where's it at? There's the word menu and then there's the play button. And that's how you test it out. Notice that we bypassed that step because I knew how to go and upload it to that position for us to, go, for us to play. All right, so let's go back over to this. Okay, we're going to come back over to this. And now, from here, we're going to go over to once the game is loaded, we play that. And notice, then you can see what we're aiming for, a player who looks at the mouse. Okay, moves with arrow keys and shoots monsters with the mouse. When you're done, close the preview and press reload in your browser so Construct 3 restarts, okay? When you're done, close the preview. So we're up here, right? We close the preview. How in the world do we close the preview? Mm-hmm. I don't know how to close the preview. Okay, does it tell us how to close the preview? Okay, it comes over here. When you're done, close the preview. Okay, I guess the preview is just the game, right? This right here. But where's the close thing? I mean, it can't be that one. That's just the bar. Okay, so some of these things you're going to have to find on your own and you're going to have to teach them to me. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. 
All right, so we come back over to here. And um, then you can try this. Press the reload in your browser. Construct the restarts. This is so we can start the rest of the tutorial from clean slate. Okay, asking questions. If you get stuck or have a question, the best place to go is to our forums. We've disabled comments for this tutorial because they're easily missed. You're more likely to get a response on the forum. Okay, so you can go to the forum and ask questions. Getting started. If you're not already looking at a fresh copy of Construct 3, simply visit this. So we click on that one, and that's where we started from. That's where we made the link. Okay? Then it says, that's right, Construct 3 runs right in your browser. There's, there is nothing to install or set up. If you see an error, check the system requirements page. You might need to update your browser or system. Hmm. That's going to be a problem for some of you guys, okay? Because maybe some of you guys have old computers and or using maybe another type of browser, and it might not work. So I'm hoping that it will work. If you can go ahead and uh, update it, you know how to do it, do it. If you don't, just don't do anything. Don't install anything. I don't want to I don't want your computer to mess up or anything like that, okay? If you know somebody who knows how to do it, we'll ask them. All right. If you're not already, you know that okay, we did that, right? Okay, create a new part project. So it says right here, click the new project button. A dialog will appear asking for some details. You don't have to change anything, but you can type in a name for your project if you like. How about my super awesome game? Okay, we'll take that. Click create, and you should see a new empty project, something like this. Okay, so it's got to look like that. So it says to do this. And we're going to create a new and then my my awesome my awesome super game okay and i believe that we need to change this once this is on portrait let me make sure if they tell us actually to put it on portrait hmm Because I know we had a set up for something else for the app, for the phone app. Okay. So here's what we do. We're going to come up here. And where did it go? Right there, right? I think it's portrait. Like it's that one. Landscape. I think it was landscape. So we got the 916 and we have the portrait. I think we gotta have it right here on 916. All right. Then click on create. Yeah, that's the way it looks over there. Okay, so that's the way this one looks. You see that? However, we don't see this. We see this, but we don't see this. Okay, I'm sure they're gonna tell us in a few minutes. So you know what? I'm going to leave you for the rest of the period this week for you to fly solo. I took you this far. I want to see how far you're going to get. Okay? The time is 1.23. No, so we're going to stop here, and we'll see you guys at 2 o'clock. So follow that tutorial. Okay? Follow that tutorial. Give it your best shot. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you at 2 o'clock.